So I finally managed to get one of my favorite releases from back in 2022 for a pair of Jordan 1 Low OG, which for sure everyone had them on their top 10 releases for that year. guys and welcome back for a brand new review if you are new to the channel please consider subscribing and also giving me a like it really help out the channel you can also give me a follow on instagram and tiktok to see exactly what i'm going to review in the next few days in today's video guys we're going to have a look at one of the best color combinations released back in 2022 for a pair of jordan 1 lows og so let's go ahead and take them out of the box which as you can see will come in one of the regular boxes in this matte black colorway which will have the big nike lettering and also the nike swoosh in this red color on the lid and also on each side of this box so let's go ahead and take them out so in today's video guys we're gonna have a look at the release from back in 2022 for this air jordan 1 low og in this unc colorway In a way it's a bit embarrassing that it took me a year to get my hands on this very nice release for this Jordan 1 low OG UNC which is also called Dark Powder Blue which in my opinion it's one of the best releases from back in 2022 which had actually quite nice materials and of course a very nice color blocking. So when this one actually dropped uh, last year, I think the retail price for them was 135 pounds. Since then, of course, it went up. So most of these releases nowadays will come at 145 pounds, which will be around 150 US dollars if I'm not mistaken. But at least for these OG releases, we are actually getting much better material and also nicer color blocking as well. So let's go ahead and also do a breakdown of this one, guys. So as you can see for this upper we're gonna have a mix of a few materials but most of them will be actually a proper leather so starting here at the front of the shoe covering the front part of the tobo section we're gonna have this very soft and shiny black leather material which will also be present here for the actual lacing system as well but coming back at the front of the shoe covering the top part of the tobo section we're gonna have this white leather material which again will be a soft one which will also have your normal perforation holes which will give it some breathability and this white soft leather will also be present here in the midfoot and on top of it we're gonna have this matte black nike sushes which again will use a very nice uh, soft uh, leather material so i'm not entirely sure why they actually decided to use uh, a shiny leather at the front and the matte uh, here in the midfoot in my opinion they should have actually used the, the same material for both nevertheless i still feel that this one is still looking quite good so finishing here at the back of the shoe guys we're gonna have this uh, blue leather material and just above it we're gonna have this uh, tab which on top will have uh, painted this uh, air wings logo in this black color continuing at the actual lacing system we're gonna have your normal punch out holes which will actually come laced with a black uh, pair of uh, laces but in the actual box we're also gonna have this uh, blue laces as well which will actually match quite nicely with the rest of these blue accents throughout of the shoe so underneath these laces guys we're gonna have this nylon tongue in this black color which here at the top will have this black tag with the nike air and nike swoosh in this blue color going now inside of the shoe for this one we're gonna have this black lining which underneath will have a normal amount of padding nothing special here and at the bottom we're gonna have what it seems that was actually something new on the market last year 
which will be this uh, dream cell uh, foam insole which for sure it's actually feeling quite good underfoot so this one will come in this white color which will have imprinted here at the heel section the nike air and also the nike sush in this blue color so now guys we can go to this uh, rubber outsole in this uh, white color which as you can see will also be stitched to the actual shoe and the actual stitching will be in this white color and in case you don't already know, here at the heel section, we're gonna have that air sole unit encapsulated, which at least for me, I really feel that after a few wears, uh, this one actually becomes slightly a bit more comfortable, but of course, don't expect too much. So now guys, we can finish with this uh, blue rubber outsole, which uh, will have one of the best attractions in the world. And this one will also be actually available on the Nike Dunks as well. So this one will still include this uh, circular design here at the front, while here in the midfoot, we're gonna have this Nike lettering and also the Nike Sush. As in for the actual sizing guys for this uh, Air Jordan 1 Low OG, most of the times uh, you actually need to go with a half size down as these ones are actually running a bit big. So for sure, for most of these releases in the last couple of years, uh, I went with a half size down and for me as I have a skinny fit, this one fits me just fine. And then you see that it's gonna be roughly the same for people with normal feet as well. But just in case you have wide feet, most definitely I would suggest you to stay either with your true to size or depending on how wide your feet will be, maybe also try to go with a half size up as well. So overall guys, this uh, 2022 release for this uh, Jordan 1 Low OG in this UNC colorway, at least for me, it's actually one of the best releases for uh, 2022, which has uh, quite good materials and a uh, very nice uh, color blocking. Of course, uh, even though uh, since then we had actually another five or six uh, Low OGs uh, released, I really feel that this one is still one of the best out there, which is actually not dropping in price too much. These ones, to be honest, even after more than one year, are still sitting for almost the retail price, which I need to admit that it's not actually that bad. And given that the materials for these OG releases are actually quite good, for sure, I feel that this one is still one of the best releases out there. So for sure, I'm actually quite excited that I managed to get this one in my collection even though it took me almost one year so yeah guys this was my unboxing and reviewing of one of the best releases for a pair of jordan 1 low og which for today was in this unc colorway i really hope you've enjoyed this video and if you did don't forget to press the like button maybe also subscribe to the channel you can also give me a follow on instagram and tiktok to see exactly what i'm gonna review in the next few days of course, if you want to have a look at any other reviews for a pair of Air Jordan 1 Low OG, you can choose from any which you have now on the screen. And as always, I will see you in my next one. Thanks for watching.